says, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. So if you consider the poor, the Bible's saying here, hey, when you're in time of trouble, when you've got bad things happening, God's going to remember that and he's going to deliver you out of your troubles because you've considered the poor. This is the Lord will preserve him. He's going to help you to continue, right? He's going to keep him alive and he shall be blessed upon the earth and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemy. So basically God's saying, I'm going to stand up for you and I will defend you and I will help you preserve your life because you are considering the poor. Verse three says, the Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing that will make all his bed in his sickness. So even in times when you get sick, God's going to give you some more strength and he's going to help you through those rough times. Now, some of the reasons why I believe that God is blessing in this way is because for one, the poor is an easy group to target and take advantage of and, and to just be the, the victims of, of crimes and, and just to have evil, wicked people, you know, doing wicked things to them. They're, they're an easier target. Why? Because you don't have any resources to really fully defend yourself, right? This, you know, today, of course, we know it takes a lot of money. If you, if you needed to go to court for some reason, if you need to defend yourself, it, it costs money just to, even, you know, even if you're innocent, it doesn't matter. You know, you have a big burden to have to go and, and go to court and defend yourself. And this isn't something that's like brand new to American society of, of people um, of having a cost associated with, with having to defend yourself. Okay, this is something that's been around for a long time. And considering the poor goes way beyond just giving money to someone who doesn't have money. Right, so when, and that's why I'm said it's not necessarily what you think of necessarily on the surface. Considering the poor doesn't even necessarily mean giving them money. But when you consider the poor, you're considering their situation, you're considering their cause, and you're going to consider them in righteousness and in righteous judgment. Now, I'm not saying that has nothing to do with ever giving money to the poor. That's not, you know, I'm, not, I'm not saying the opposite, right? I'm not just saying like, no, no, and you never give money to people who are poor. In fact, we're going to see plenty of verses that talk about that. I just want to make sure that everyone's clear that it's not just about that one thing. And I also want to make sure you understand that the poor is not equal to the bum. Okay? The poor is not just a synonym for a bum, for an able-bodied man that doesn't want to work that has every capacity to be able to go out and earn a living for himself, but has chosen to do drugs, has chosen to drink, has chosen to just fall into the gutter. That is not who the Bible's talking about here. For the, that's why, you know what it is though, it's, it, that's why it doesn't just say, just give all of your money to the poor. It says consider the poor. Now people who are bums may end up being very poor, but you consider and what the Bible says in Proverbs 29, 7, the righteous considereth the cause of the poor. There's a cause. Now, not all the poor are poor because they're bums at all. There's plenty of hardworking people. There's plenty of good people out there that are poor because they don't have a lot of money and for many circumstances and many reasons. So it just doesn't mean you don't just look on everyone who doesn't have money as being, you know, any less of a person, first of all. And second of all, as, as if they're lazy or, or bums anyways. You don't just look at people that way. But if when you consider the cause and you consider why is this person in a situation, then you can make a righteous judgment on that. But here's the thing. Putting the bum aside, because the Bible says this. You may not like it. What do you mean calling people bums? Hey, the Bible says that if a person's not going to work, neither should he eat. And you know what? That's not Old Testament law. That's New Testament. Not that I would put that much of a difference between the two anyways, but, you know, people who want to say, oh, that's Old Testament. No, it's not. That's 1 Thessalonians. Okay, read the Bible. If any man's not going to work, neither should he eat. 